Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of What I'm Prepping Today. Today's preps are all about research. When I pack things, like food in buckets, or clothing in a box, <laughs> I like to put in desiccants. Now, even though I put an oxygen absorber in the Mylar bag with the food and then put the Mylar bags into a bucket or another container for easy transport, that's when I put the desiccant in. So I'm almost out of desiccants. I had ordered a bucket of them and that bucket's pretty low. So if we haven't learned anything recently about stocking up, uh, because things sometimes become in short supply and then there's price gouging, then we haven't learned enough. So in my research to get more desiccants, I looked over the types of desiccants and for the application that I'm interested in, there's basically two types. They're bentonite clay or just called clay and silica. And the first thing we can look at is how they're packed. They're usually just in little bags. And as you can see here, there's one in craft paper, there's one in Tyvek. Uh, the reason these are done differently is the dust, I'm guessing. So bentonite clay is normally packed in Tyvek because it creates dust. The silica does have minimal dust, so it's packed in Tyvek but also in cotton or perforated plastic. I personally would prefer the Tyvek because I feel that the uh, other things have the ability to rip more so than the Tyvek. Each also has uh, an absorbent to temperature, which at, point, at which point it would then release the absorbed moisture. For betonite clay, that is 120 degrees Fahrenheit or 49 degrees Celsius. And for silica, it's 220 degrees or 104 degrees Celsius. Again, for my application, either one of these would work. And then <clears throat> how much they absorb. Uh, the betonite clay will actually absorb 25% of its weight that's the absorbent capacity. And the silica gel will absorb 40% of its weight. So, so far, overall, it does look like the silica is your better bet. Uh, then, the benefit to having a desiccant that's rechargeable is you can recharge it. You don't have to throw it away just because it's saturated. To recharge betonite clay... It requires 16 hours at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. The silica requires three hours at 250. So it's really a no-brainer uh, in the time savings there. You would definitely want the silica. And when you have uh, the desiccants in your safe or near your weapons or in your ammunition that you're going to be recharging, yeah, the silica is definitely the way to go. For my purposes in the buckets, I don't, I haven't ever needed to recharge them. They come with a little uh, disc on them that changes color when they need recharged. Mine have not ever needed it, uh, and they were bentonite clay. So the next time I get them, I, I think I will be switching only to silica. I'm not going to take out the bent bentonite clay uh, desiccants and replace them with silica, but now I'm looking for silica ones. So when you're looking for silica, you want to ask yourself, or any desiccant, you want to ask yourself, what am I going to use it in? Well, mine are primarily used in uh, three-gallon buckets, but you might be using five-gallon buckets. So let's figure out how much you need. So when you search how much desiccant do I need, you get a lot of choices. So I went over to this one at sorbentsystems.com. Uh, finding the quantity of the desiccant you need. They actually give examples. And basically, you figure out how many cubic inches or feet your container is. 
how many cubic inches or feet the contents uses up and you need to protect the rest of that for moisture. Well, since I'm only doing buckets, I'm not really concerned with uh, having deducting the contents or anything like that. I just want a, a rough idea. And right here is where they do that. They tell you how many square feet, how many square inches, the gallons, the cubic feet, uh, the cubic inches, and how many you need. So that needs one sixth, one third, one half, one, two. But wait a second. I'm not understanding that. So let's go over to this one. This, this desiccant calculator at protectivepackaging.net. And it's basically the same thing. They're saying the, de the desiccant required is one sixth of a desiccant, one desiccant, three desiccants. But is that enough information? No, not really. Why isn't that enough? Well, that's not enough because desiccants, when I shop for them, I see them in so many different sizes. One ounce, two grams, 33 grams. And then I've also seen them in units, one unit, five units. And that is precisely what this is. This is one sixth of a unit, one third of a unit, one unit, five, you know, this is how many units. Well, what's a unit of desiccant? So we'll do another quick search and we find out that a unit is approximately one ounce of desiccant. And then it goes on to explain that that will absorb three grams of water at 20% humidity. Uh, but that's not what we were looking for. What we wanted to know is how much is a unit. So when you see you, uh, desiccants advertised as a unit or grams or ounces, all you need to remember is that one unit is approximately one ounce, which is approximately 30 to 33 grams. So then we'll go back over to here, how much desiccant do I need? Well, let's see, one unit covers 0.83 cubic feet. Nothing tells me how many gallons of a bucket. Well, kind of, there's a three gallons, there's six gallons, but what if you want a larger container? Or what if you want to be more exact? Well, then you figure out your cubic feet simply by doing this. One cubic foot is 1728 cubic inches. A five gallon bucket is five gallons. It's 1,155 cubic inches, 0.67 cubic feet. A three gallon bucket by the same process, one gallon is 231 cubic inches. 230 cubic inches times three, 693, divided by the cubic inches in a cubic foot, comes up to 0.4 cubic feet for a three gallon bucket. So I'm gonna come up to this chart and I'm going to try to find 0.4 cubic feet and it's right there. So for a three gallon bucket, I need half of a unit of desiccant and uh, for 0.67 cubic feet, the five gallon, I would need what appears to be, mm, yeah, three quarters of a desiccant unit. So I, just to be on the safe side, generally go with one unit desiccants. I could buy half unit desiccants, but then I'd have to put in two. Do I mind doing that? No, I just figure why bother. If one desiccant is sufficient, I don't want to have to put in two. And to be quite honest with you, the three-gallon bucket is the smallest size I store anything in. So I can see needing the one-unit desiccants more. So now that we are armed with the knowledge of the difference between bentonite and silica desiccants, the sizes of desiccants, now we can start accurately comparing some prices. I recently did a video on Mylar bags and the oxygen absorbers that I use. While I was on my Mylar websites and oxygen absorber websites, I noticed that two of the three have desiccants and they were Mylar bags direct. And I came over here to their desiccants and they sell one ounce, 10 packs. Now, what do we know about a one ounce desiccant? It's one unit. That's what we're looking for. So a 10 pack is $4.99. Five 10 packs 
is $20. So I'm going to put that right there on my little chart. So then I'm going to go over to my other uh, Mylar bag source, which this is where I got the oxygen absorbers, at discountmylarbags.com. And then I'm going to drop down to their many, many, and I like these for the um, ammo boxes and the gun safes. But I don't know that that's the best price. Those are the ones that are in uh, tins. So I'm going to drop down to find these one unit, which right there they tell you, one ounce, 28 gram desiccants. That's the size I'm looking for. So I'm going to look at that and look, it appears that they're on sale. So I'm going to go over there and I did not understand this line here down by the choice where it says desiccant one plus two unit. So I emailed and got a super quick response and you can just ignore that. I wanted to know what size I was getting. This makes it look like I'm getting one one unit and one two unit. That's not the case at all. These are the prices for the one ounce units, the one, yeah, the one ounce desiccants. So five of them would be $10. I would not ever buy something that small. I jump right down here to the 100 price. And so 100, one ounce, one unit desiccants, is $100. So I put that in my price list. And then I also checked Top Mylar. They do not sell desiccants. So what I did next was I came over to Amazon and I found the exact ones that I had purchased before. And they were uh, armor, protective packaging, clay, Tyvek desiccant, and they were one ounce and a box, oh, excuse me, a box of 300, it was actually a bucket. It was a really nice bucket. And I've kept them in there since then, and the bucket's almost empty, and I'm going to get to use the bucket. So that is an added value, in my opinion. And this price here is uh, $91.55 for uh, 100 clay desiccants. So I did write that on my research paper uh, right there. But as you recall, if you recall, I said earlier I wanted to switch over to some silica ones. And of course, I did search Amazon and I also search Walmart normally on everything because those are my two main go-tos for a lot of things. They are uh, Walmart and Amazon. Now, if you install the Amazon Assistant, it'll pop up all the time with a little box like this telling you what that item sells for on Amazon and if you install honey it'll also tell you that honey says oh look you can save money on this now I have the honey bar on there but I really haven't um, gone in and signed into it and when you click on it it tells you hey today's rewards at this store activate them and ten dollars off your first order uh, while fresh but what I want to tell you about activating that aspect of Honey is that if you're a member of Ebates or Rakuten, it will deactivate that in your browser, and I don't want to do that. So I'm looking at this 30 grams, which we know is one unit of silica gel desiccants. And it shows tells me right here that it's $52 on Amazon, so we don't want that. So we are seeing that I can get 100 one-unit silica gel desiccants for $26. So I wrote that down in my research as well. So as you can see, and you can look at it later if you like, this price here at Walmart, 100 one-unit desiccants for $26 versus... That's clay, so we're not really going to compare that one. It, these ones are less anyway at Walmart. And with this other silica gel, 100 units was $100. Oh my goodness, look at the savings. The only reason I can see not to get them at Walmart is if you are a Walmart hater. And I do understand why so many people boycott Walmart. But really, 
Are you going to tell me you're willing to boycott Walmart to the extent of buying desiccants for four times the cost? Then, you know what? Go ahead. So overall, whether you want clay, if you want a clay desiccant, I'm going to say that Amazon had the best price. And if you wanted the silica desiccant, uh, Walmart had the best price and of those two then definitely the Walmart desiccants for $26 are the best price and those are the ones that I ordered and the last thing I wanted to point out and then I promise I'll end the video was back on this page where I compared the bentonite and the uh, the clay and the silica desiccants I had written here that the flower drying gel is $17 for five pounds and I know that because I had to dry my son's flowers and it, I had to keep going back to the store for the five pound box of the silica gel and you can recharge that mine were just crystals not in anything and I still have them I have 25 pounds of this silica gel and I don't have the time right now but do you know that if you had Tyvek and you were able to, I don't know if you heat seal Tyvek or if you can sew it together, you could actually make your own desiccants. I'd kind of be afraid of um, them spilling open. I wouldn't be sure how to do that, but that's definitely an idea. And so five pounds would probably be the equivalent. Well, it's the equivalent of 80 ounces. So we know that's approximately 80 units. And the retail price is $17. However, the craft store that I got them at consistently offers 40% coupons. And so I was getting it for, I think, $10 or $12. So that would not be a bad price at all if you wanted to bother uh, making them yourself. Uh, if you had access to the Tyvek or, you know, even free, it would be better. But if you didn't, I mean, that's just an idea. So you would be able to make approximately... 80 for ten dollars exclusive of the Tyvek costs or you could just add the six bucks save the time and trouble and get these um, 100 packs and uh, that's what I did as I said so that's it I hope this research helps you I hope it helps you understand desiccants a little better and uh, now that you see my sources I hope that helps you and Definitely, as always, please let me know if you have a better price or a better solution. I always want to know and appreciate that. Put it in the comments so it benefits everyone else as well as me. And let me know if you use desiccants, if you think it's a good idea, a bad idea. And definitely let me know the same thing I always ask you. What did you prep today? Be blessed, everyone.